Greetings to all and sundry. This is Chancellor North Wales. Time for another Chancellor for you. A discussion about scale modelling and um, other related things, but pretty much that. So first we'll begin with thank you guys. Thanks guys for the feedback from my recent videos, for the uh, two build videos, the uh, review of the Pure Flight group build and uh, just some other chats, responses and feedback. Great guys, always love hearing from you and uh, thanks for your feedback for the uh, um, Iskra build and now also for the Antonov 72. Uh, four build as well. So first we'll get on with it. This is going to be also include a bit of a discussion about pure flight. Being a bit quiet there um, for the most part. Uh, I know Rob's uh, basic modeling has completed his Avia um, but that's not up yet and uh, Steve is making progress with his air racing Sea Fury. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, those two come out. Uh, looking forward to seeing both of them up on uh, the uh, uh, Facebook group. I must admit I've been fairly fortunate and have been able to finally make some impact on it. So my first build for that uh, was this uh, Blanick L13 glider, which I'm reasonably pleased with as long as you're looking for, from it for that side. However, if you look at it on this side, you can see that, yay, once again, I had a flipping nightmare with decals. Uh, this is a nice kit. I don't recommend paint going for this uh, blue colour scheme. The main reason being that the white decals um, are pretty fragile and the white doesn't have much depth to it on the side stripe, which means you... Um, get show through on it you've got to then try and rework cover that up um i endeavor to make up for it by uh masking the uh that white there uh painting that first but put, painting the model white masking that and then painting the blue around it came out okay one side a little bit ropier the other side and i also had if you can see up close there issues with uh, decal disintegration on the other side as well. Uh, I think it's still a lovely kit. Um, the decals were good but they were fragile and I think issues with them and the depth of the colour but that's a feature with white decals something you've got to often accept. Um, and I think in all probability any other markings apart from this one and it will come out really really nicely and I thoroughly enjoyed this kit I love the scheme I love how this aircraft looks uh, I didn't put apply enough uh, anhydral to the wings I know that um, and but you need to give this model a bit of thought but you do get something that I think is quite nice and uh, certainly looks right in uh, plan form of what the glider should look like. Now there's a build video uh, for this will be coming up. In the same theme, and this is a rarity for me to do so quickly, um, over the Christmas break, right, basically this was a four day build, I built the Avia L60 uh, Brigandier which is a Czech light aircraft, which I must admit, I thoroughly enjoy. It's a multimedia kit. It does have some issues. I would say the decals weren't uh, one of them on this one. I did use to get the fine red stripe rather than trying to paint that. I dug out some red decal strip from the stash and used that. Um, the ivory pale coat because that isn't white I used the Vallejo paint not the model air but I then thinned it down with the Vallejo thinner and the flow improver and actually got me something that I can uh, airbrush surprisingly well so I'm going to bear this in mind on the future builds to get specific colors to also to consider the regular Vallejo colors um, to get my right tone so I this was built over four days uh, started Christmas Eve 
and was finished by the 28th and I was very happy with it. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed the build. A bit tricky in places, the undercarriage, as you can see, is very fiddly. I've got to improve the way I apply uh, the super glues, the cyanoacrylates. They tend to be a little bit messy in places. And uh, needed some tidying up there. But apart from that, uh, one key thing, if you do get this kit, is I put in long uh, pins as the spars going through the cockpit. Really needed that uh, for the strength and the robustness of the wings but this is a it's not often i build anything this fast and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this little project so i think it came out about 20 hours build time maybe a little bit more but still time well spent fiddly aeroplane multimedia it's definitely some fit issues definitely some uh issues with vague vagueness of location instructions weren't brilliant but definitely a model i enjoyed building and one worth doing so uh there will be a build video for that coming up and there's pictures of it on the pure flight group build so that's really covering pure flight what i've been doing recently um just posted the completed an74 build video and i had this built for over um, a month um, but I was rather, for some reason, I was kind of dreading compiling the build video. But here we have the completed Antonov AN74, and there's a build vid up for this. Uh, what do I say? Hmm. The kit is released by Eastern Express. Uh, I think it's the only 172nd scale uh, Antonov 74. I say my one I built was the old Toco kit. Uh, and it's been re-released by Eastern Express. Honestly, if you really want to have a 74, get one of the 144 scale ones. This is a pick of a kit, quite frankly. With some work, I think it builds up into quite a nice aircraft. The decals were absolute pain in the arse. And I think these fuselage stripes need to be uh, masked and painted separately. They really do, because that was... They didn't even line up with the um, hatches. Really, with the um, windows. And it was one of those models where, yeah, I should have probably gone for a bit more uh, weathering at that point of it. But you get to stay, you think, I just don't want to do any more on this. So it's done, it's there, it's built in quite a clean format. And I'm reasonably happy with it, considering the issues. Uh, and it's nice to have a jet airliner stroke transport on the shelf in Aeroflot markings. So... That's been three more recent builds. Well, that one was finished before I did the Iskra. Um, just behind the build vids on that one. So there you can see that one. Um, so oh, that was finished after the Iskra. Sorry. That was built after the Iskra. It, you haven't had the build vid for that. And I've just been behind on things. Anyway. Actually, I kind of lost it. the track. Sorry, I'm just going to turn off the heater. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway. Where was I? Right, YouTube. Uh, I think this copper business has caused a lot of alarm um, amongst the modelers. It's turned out to be something we need to be aware of, but that isn't going to kill the scale modeling channels. It seems to be the best advice is set your channel for adult. Um, don't try and get gear up your content too specifically for kids. And you should be okay. Just be sensible about what you do. Um, it doesn't seem to be the deal breaker or the great cause for massive alarm just i think for all of us who produce youtube vids uh, that may have an appeal to youngsters it's to just to demonstrate a little bit more awareness and thought about what we're doing how we're communicating and who we're communicating with nowhere near as bad as i thought it was going to be uh, i did produce a disclaimer sheet that might come up once in a while and i will sadly still have to take the line that this channel is intended for uh, older viewership so that's really copper out of the way. Now it's been great to chat to some of you guys on uh, line and I have enjoyed 
uh, chatting a fair bit to Freddie Fernando Duarte. Uh, he's always a nice gentleman, and we do have a good few letters about scale modelling. And the others who know me, know me through Facebook, uh, through the various groups I'm on there, and the work that I post there. The Soviet Russian scale modelling groups t uh, continues to remain my favourite one. I just like the atmosphere of that community and the models that go up there, the work that goes up there, and the fact that it feels a little bit more, a little, quite ch a nice chilled group with some excellent models coming up. Um, so, not building anything more this year, and I could have started a model yesterday, I decided not to, but this is next build that's coming up. A nice little uh, Polish, or Czech, I believe, um, I think it's Czech. Um, aerobatic aircraft. Um, another mixed media kit. I can see it giving some issues. One point for me is that none of these nice stripes have got decals. There's only decals for the lettering, so <coughs> it's definitely going to be a bit more <coughs> a challenge on the masking front. And I think that's part of the reason why I'm building this. I'm probably going to be looking at doing this one that I've got my finger by here. That's probably the aircraft I'm going to be working on with the white background and the red and the blue sweeping stripes. That sort of appeals more and uh, may be fun getting the art cutter out and working on the, uh, st uh, the masking there. And I will probably be using the Vallejo paints for that. Um, it's... Yeah, after that, oh, well, I got this pair of um, Zlin uh, kits. The Hobby Boss one is a bit of a weird one, as all, as it's in predominantly... Well, the fuselage halves, as you can see, see, is split horizontally, well, vertically, not sure which way around, and it's in clear plastic. Not many parts to this kit. Um, really, it was one of those things, well, what were they thinking? And I'm not sure. I can't really work out what the logic and the idea behind that was. It contains markings for Czech Air Force. Um, also has basic sprue like this and another clear canopy screw sprue um, not many parts to it not really show, sure what hobby boss was thinking with this uh, I think it'll build up quite well um, this one is much more of a traditional kit and what I like about this, there's enough decals in here that I may end up building two civilian uh, birds. Quite probably the check one in the red and the yellow. And I might do... May well do the Polish one. So that one down there. So these two, basically using these two kits, I'll do those two. Uh, something else I've got which uh, is this my first resin kit the double Blanik used by Latvian uh, Research Institute not sure when that's going to be built um, so tempting to do it for pure flight but once I've done those two, the two Zlins, and um, probably quite definitely this VSO uh, glider. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So that's what's coming up, a bit more of a run on the sports planes. Once I've done a series of that, I'm going to dive again into something military um, in uh, 2020. 
So I think by February 2020 we may see um, start getting back to some more flying heavy metal. Uh, maybe March 2020. Um, also have in the stash the um, Ruttons. Okay, this is also 172nd by A model. Another interesting one that is holds quite a lot of appeal to me. So that I think would fit very well with Pure Flight, and I'm, I'm rather tempted with that. But to put that on some kind of uh, flying base. So guys, been great communicating. It's been great with following your build vids. Too many to name right now. What I am going to do in the next chances for you is do a raft of shout outs again. Review some of the newer channels that we've been seeing. New guys I've been subscribing to. <coughs> and I've really got to put that together. I was going to do that today. But I went out with uh, my youngest daughter to see the new Star Wars film. Uh, let's look. There's plenty of reviews on it. Personally, thoroughly enjoyed it. Felt a little bit like drinking um, fermented Star Wars juice. Lawful lot crammed in, very intense film, a lot going on. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If that means I, I lack class, style, whatever, I don't particularly care. Great film, enjoyed it for what it was. Nice way to end it, tear to the eye, uh, and thinking, oh blimey, 42 years ago, I was a seven year old kid watching the original Star Wars. I don't know, actually, 80 year old kid watching the original Star Wars in the cinema, and uh, it's like a feeling of, oh wow, that's, is this? I know it's not it, it's not going to be bringing more stuff out, but that was one heck of a, a journey, and uh, nice to see the Star Saga, the, the series of nine films now have been wrapped up. The primary series. I'm just looking forward to what else is going to come out of it now. Uh, certainly I don't think we're all Star Wars out. And all credit to Disney for what they're doing. But. Uh, I'm not going to suffer from film snobbery. I enjoyed it. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the film. And if that makes me a heretic or whatever. You know I don't really give a toss. Uh, so guys, there's been some great builds this year, some incredible work by so many of you. Um, sad to see some guys posting less on YouTube, uh, but we all know it goes in cycles, and I consider myself very fortunate I've been able to maintain a, a steady-ish rate. Um, looking at it now, 10 builds this year, not quite the 12 I would have wanted, but considering how much went into the DC-47 build, that diorama, I can live with that, and that this bigger bird as well, and bearing in mind that there's also a uh, an SU-34 still waiting, the deco I've gotten for it, it needs finishing, so call it 10.5, 10 and a half builds uh, for this year, and I can live with that, you know, I aim for one build a month, you might get that in 2020, I don't know, I've got a lot of stuff I need to do, a lot of stuff I need to work on, um, I've got pile marking I need to do here, uh, finish off anyway, and just, we all have stuff going on, but these vids, these um, YouTube vids are going to continue, uh, I do struggle with the camera setup and that side of it on some of these, because I film everything on this, uh, my trusted mobile phone, so the next couple of uh, build vids won't be so filming intensive or certainly not the one for the uh l60 brigandier because i just didn't set up the camera to look down on my hands doing it i did an unboxing uh, but the rest was just easier to take photos and go on that basis um so as we come to the end of another year guys i will once again say uh take care God bless and happy modelling. This is Chancellor North Wales for 2019 signing out.